Hopefully it does for Spain's sake. 2-0 prediction again coming from everybody from the Spanish side. Overconfidence? What do, you, uh, what do you think? We'll only have to see if that confidence is indeed over or not. Hard to believe that Hand of Blood actually has a 100% win rate in international tournaments, but hey, you can't argue with the numbers, can you? I think that the Germans are going to be seeking to get another win today. Will they be able to roll over the Spaniards again? Or is the Alvaro, the captain of the Spanish team, going to be able to force a comeback here? Well, it looks like if they're going to be able to take this victory, the Germans, that is, they are going to be probably finishing in first place, going in to the DreamHack tournament. Spaniards, though, with the Spain, Alvaro, the captain, he's going to need to really rally his team in order to get Spain a victory and really climb back up into contention as we look at the German side. Ooh, Trimax is, you know, pretty big dude. Yeah, nice lineup there. We, of course, know him from Clash Royale. He's a streamer and YouTuber. He's the king in the arena, so do you think he'll also be Gilder here in the battlefield? Uh, I don't know. He said uh, he said he had a little surprise for us waiting, so oh. we're going to have to wait and find out. The Just Spanish side looking, trying to figure out what are they going to play. This is a very crucial game mm. and match and set. Serena said that she was a little chilly at the airport. I checked her Twitter, so maybe she'll go with, uh, like, Dao Chan if she embraces the cold spirit, or maybe warm things up a bit with Raz, huh? Yeah, maybe a little Terra action. <laughs> yeah, you know those, I, that icy hammer? Oh, yeah. Oh. All right, well, Aviv is going to choose first. He's a German YouTuber, and he's got some pretty shocking and slapstick comedy videos. Maybe he'll go for the Joker. That'll be uh Well, let's see who he bans. See, yeah. There it is, the Joker oh, ban Oh, guess he's in. not going to be able to use the Joker since he's been banned, but... With Zach over on the right side. Oh, that man getting taken out. So it looks the like DC uh, the DC done. duo done. We're going to have to wait for uh, Superman to come out uh, in order for DC Hero to be played here. <laughs> so, yeah. The Bible choose first with Zach, and Stax will go next. Stax, uh, he, he likes to play Call of Duty and, and CSGO, so maybe he'll go with Violet, someone else who can shoot some guns. Maybe, but Crack being picked up here from a Vive. Got a yeah. nice little pull maybe for the picks for Germany. Crash. Ooh. Over and over, I Intel like Honest. Ah, he wants to shoot something. I guess it's going to be a bow, though. The marksman over here. He's going to take it out. So, yep. crushed Intel Honest being picked up for the Spanish side. Let's see how the Germans answer. It looks like Yorn is going to be their carry with Chugnar. Interesting call here. I D.E.'s Tenendo, I want to make sure I say that right, is a YouTuber, a Blizzard fanboy, and a self-professed idiot. I thought that he might choose uh, Maganga going for the, the whole, you know, jester approach here, but... The Maganga? Yeah, the, the Maganga, you know what I'm talking about, but no, <laughs> instead goes with Yorn, the marksman. Over on the other side, though, who we got in chat? We got Butterfly coming out from Sinha and the Alvaro picking up... Omar. Omar. Oh, look at that. Nata tanky, Natalia. Warrior. I mean, they oh. would be left on an island, you know. Mm -hmm. they, may, they may as well pick her up. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Yeah, you know, Chinchetto said uh, over on YouTube that he's a thumbtack in a world of clips. And the other thing he said about himself, that he's got a doctor in the study of Kulologia. Kulologia. I, I wasn't sure how to pronounce that, but I, I looked up the translation, and it made me think that he does indeed like uh, the ladies. Natalia would have been a good pick for him, but he goes with Jinnar instead. Yeah, Jannar coming out here as the mage in the middle. Alvaro with Omar here. Oh. Ooh. And there we go. It's been it's set. Be the swipes. Yep. 15 seconds until you know, we get ready to go into this match. A lot of them going for heal. Bane going to really need to win this matchup. And I'm very excited to see how they play. You know, they're very confident. I mean, yeah. even as their, you know, non-pro team said, 2-0 was their prediction. Right. Their influencer From team stayed sides. with it. 2-0. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they definitely are going to try to get this 2-0 victory. But it's not going to be easy as the Germans have not lost. Mm. As you said. And they've got the advantage on the skin side here. It looks like they got a three of the heroic skins. That's true. HOB 100%. Yeah, the Spaniards Ugh. aren't really going for the skins. I think that they're more interested in just, you know, hard tax ABC gameplay. But the Germans, of course... Why you gotta not, look why flashy not go when you win. When yeah. you're winning, and the that's the time points. to go flashy. Yeah, you gotta get the style points. Otherwise, it wouldn't really <laughs> count. Well, let's take a look at. Oh man, the team setup coming out. We got Grok, Chagnar, Yorn, Natalia, and Wukong coming out from the Germans. Right. And Butterfly, Jinnar, Crushed Ornmore, and Talanus 
over on the Spanish side. So Butterfly, I don't think we've gotten a chance to see her yet today, but she is a real quick attacker. Kind of reminds me of the Bride from Kill Bill. She dashes all over the place with a huge sword, and she is out for blood. I, when you select her on the screen, she's something like, I will kill everyone. Have you, have you, have you checked that out? Yeah, I have. And hey, listen, if she gets that first kill, Oof. she just continues to just chain into one, two, three, four, and then all of a sudden your whole entire team's dead at the blade in her hand. Kills her and assists, of course. Yes, reset all the cooldowns on her abilities and heal her for 15% of her health. It's going to be up to with Zack to make advantage of that great passive ability. Yep. Looking at Trimax versus Stax in the middle lane. We got Shinchito and Sarnha. Now Serena on the bottom. Not really opposed by anyone yet. Oh, here we go. Finally. Got a little bit of march down uh, here from the Germans. Gonna try to defend a little bit. Shinchito pulling back a little bit. Happy to shoot a few arrows out. Talanis looking for level two, but hasn't gotten there yet. Stacks in the center, grabs himself a little bit of a power-up orb there, getting a little bit more health as he tries to hold on strong here. But wow, Trimax got a nice hit off on him. Natalia, the mage, getting a great strike against uh, Jinnar in the center here. And again, a whittling lot him of down. Poke coming out. Yeah. Ugh, but the bottom lane action, just a little bit, just killing minions. Just the slow play, slow start to this game. You know, nobody really wants to come in with the jungle just yet. It'll ramp up maybe in about 30 seconds once the junglers really get to level four, there which we just see coming in from this Wukong. Let's see how he want to plays this. I mean, the lane's push, so. Not too shabby, but yeah. You, you could tell in chat that none of these players want to be the first one to drop the first blood. It uh, doesn't look good. It gives your opponents a nice advantage. And it uh, looks like it's going to be a three on two in the bottom as the jungler is going to try to make a stab in here. Wukong's Chichetta coming notices in. Him, but it's going to be a two on one as there's not a whole lot of support. Finally, the three back him up. And there it is. Yorn gets the first blood against Telanis, the archer on the bottom, calling in the power of the sun to wipe out Telanis. Yeah, just too much pressure there. That three on two. Wukong comes in from the back with that red buff. Just took out Telanis right off the bat, and that's going to give a huge advantage to the bot lane to Nendo picking up that first kill. Sure will. They had a little bit of a flirt with the Abyssal Dragon there, though, but I don't think they decided to actually commit to the attack. With Zack going to pull back and get a little bit of a golem buff as he uh, moves into the jungle once again. Trimax playing very aggressively up on front. Hardly is taking any damage whatsoever, so I guess it's working out pretty well for him. Is applying a lot of pressure, and Stax is yet to be able to turn this thing around and even reach level parity with Trimax. Yeah, he's taking so much poke. Now, if you're going to take that much poke, you kind of got to go back and then, you know, buy and come back into lane. Every time you do that, you can see the level advantage that Trimax has just slowly ticking up. That circle around the number is their experience towards the next level. And as you can see, Trimax a ton more than stacks at this moment. Yes, indeed. And speaking of going back in Telane, it looks like Telanis on the bottom is just going to be defending there with Crest up on uh, the middle here. We've got the jungler trying to stab in here to try to save Trimax. He's in a lot of trouble. He goes down! Wiped out by Jinnar. He sure got the last lap and finished off the, uh, by Natalia. Couldn't quite hold on there. Looks like Butterfly got Wukong finished off. Uh, took him down. And Chatton, what do we got on the bottom? We got Telanis and Crush just clearing out this minion wave. Telanis activating the ability, longest range when she does that. Uh -huh. Even attack towers. Wow. Out of range. The tower will not hit you once that ability is popped from Telanis. Zach just clearing out the jungle. That's right. Eagle Eye, her ability gives her a little bit more range, damage, and, a, and the uh, ability to reduce the movement speed of anyone that she's able to get a hit on. Just uh, sieging that bottom lane, though, not giving up any tower damage. It's a two-for-two two draw right now. The Spanish a little bit ahead in gold, though. Looks like about 200 total. Yeah, kind of just a slow place game right now. Nobody really wants to make that one mistake to really start a snowball that happens. Ooh. And in Arena of Valor, games are so quick that one little mistake and a snowball could happen at any moment. But it looks like Zach's coming down to try to help out on this bottom side. Do Tenendo and Lorelaf know that he is a hiding in that bush? It's like they aren't willing to commit to the attack either way. They're trying to initiate here to get a fight going off to take advantage of this 3v2, but not going down just yet. The Spanish managed to get a little bit more gold somehow, some way, 
They're about 500 ahead right now, and as uh, Chinchetto, Serena, and with Zach are pondering whether or not to go for this Abyssal Dragon, it'll be a pretty ballsy move this early on, but if they figure that the two bottom lane players from the Germans aren't going to punish, then hey, maybe the three, uh, three players are going to be able to take this Dragon out. Well, they're trying to get it really early, and it looks like they're going to. Wukong spotted on the top side. That's going to allow Spain to easily take out the Abyssal Dragon and take an early gold lead. That's a little bit disappointing for the Germans and in the bottom lane. They didn't have a whole lot else to do, but I guess, hey, playing the lane, taking out some creeps, never really a bad idea, unless your opponents are going to get that advantage by being able to take out the Abyssal Dragon. Nice gold and a experience uh, bump for the Spaniards up on top as they start to gain the lead, if not in uh, kills, at least in uh, their economy. <laughs> the economy, yeah. Is right, Hob coming in here. Is he going to try to get on Stax? Stax taking a ton of damage. Trimax coming in. Is he going to be able to finish Ooh. it? Gets annihilated. Zach coming in way too late, and he's just going to have to retreat as he got in the fight too late. We have a little skirmish coming on in the bottom lane. Chugnar and Yorn just avoiding the pressure. Spitting at each other. They got little spitballs that they're uh, sending waves and waves after, but not really applying too much pressure. It's the advantage, though, for the Spanish team. Since they were able to take out the Abyssal Dragon earlier, they are already at level 7, gaining that experience buff uh, from finishing him off. I don't know if the Germans are going to be able to take advantage of this kill that they just picked up. They have started to turn around the tide of the gold lead, though. You'll notice that the Spaniards are only ahead by about 100 now, as opposed to the 5-600 that they had before. Oh, there's a four-man push there. coming on the bottom. But the Spaniards see it move yep. back to their tower. Trimax just wandering around. Going to have to go back towards the middle lane as there's nothing to do on the bottom. A shrewd play. And it looks like Hob pulling back once again. Wukong is just going to go back into the jungle, try to get a little bit more golden experience points. In the uh, center lane here, though, Stax popping out once again. He got a nice kill early on, but it looks like he's not really playing very aggressively. He's just waiting for Trimax to come at him. And why not? There's no need to go stabbing in there at a tower, especially if you don't have that much support from the creeps. One little siege creep did reach the tower and got a little chip damage off there, but looks like up on top, Alvaro is in uh, the preferential position. No hook from a vibe yet. Guess he uh, couldn't see into that bush. Yeah, we got stacks and with Jack just staying in the middle. Both mid laners, oh, coming out here. And you're trying to wow. take down Trimax. Trimax going to have to flicker away just to save his life as Telanus comes in and does a lethal amount of damage. Not nearly lethal. lethal. Nearly yeah. lethal. Almost nearly lethal. lethal. I mean, Almost hey, lethal. Against a lesser man that might have taken him out. Trimax pulling back and holding on strong. It's a core, uh, a tower dive here. Trying to get a little bit of damage off, but no, not this time. Telanus pushes it back. Gets the kill. Laura Luff still alive, but Chognar could not keep his ally up. No, chugging back to his tower, stays alive. But now Telanus is starting to get pretty big, getting a lot of farm. And the Spanish team looking very promising. Gold lead at about 1.1k. Nice Spanish uh, pullback here. They had started to lose the gold lead, but it looks like they're going to go for a stab here. The first tower is going to go down. Finished off in the bottom, the three Spaniards stab it in with hardly any defense from Germany. Distracted and pulled back. Chognar could not hold on to that tower all by his lonesome. But it's a counterattack from the Germans in the center. Are they going to be able to take this tower down, Chatton? Uh, maybe. I mean, Trimax just annihilated Jin R and Stax falls. Uh -oh. And so does their tower. But oh, look at this, the no. Spanish. They got Oh, no. Wukong. Oh, man. That, that's unfortunate. And Hob, Italian, even with that big destroyed. level advantage, yeah, cannot turn around a 4v2 by any means. Butterfly just came in and was like, slice! <laughs> Slicing and dice. I think Talon's got the double kill from that one, though. Yeah, and Spain is now going to take the Abyssal Dragon, and they're just going to really start punishing Germany for getting out of position, maybe going a little bit too hard on that middle side tower. You lost two, not the end of the world, but when you lose two heroes, and then you lose an Abyssal Dragon, and then you even lose your mid side tower from Spain pushing in. Perfect rotations from Spain, really taking advantage advantage of that dominance in the middle lane. Trimax and Hob now getting back into the action, but as they reawaken, they've already lost two towers. It's a relative dead heat for these teams right now. Spain ahead just a little bit in gold, but uh, the kills and the tower score is just about even. It's really going to be a, a mid-game, maybe even late-game fight to see who's going to take a decisive lead. 
Look at this, playing the bush, Spain, hoping that Wukong or somebody comes out and just gets annihilated. But it looks like they're just going to be wasting time as Germany just climbing back up into the gold, you know, deficit that they had. And Spain sitting oh. in this bush, they oh, need maybe now, maybe somebody. No. Trimax. He's getting awfully close ah. this time, though. Very clever defensive play, avoiding uh, that big clump of... All oh, five players from the Spanish team. They're going to make a stab in here. Are they going for Yorn? What are they trying to do? Are they going to force a team fight? Looks They're like going these three to. players are cut off, but they've got a defensive tower that they can walk back to up on top. Germany in a pretty strong defensive edge here, but the Spanish commit nonetheless. Yeah, Grok with that ultimate. Crush still alive with the ultimate, and the Spain destroying. Tinendo goes down as well, and Spain completely dominates. They're four to one on that exchange, and they get out alive. How much time they wasted in the middle, completely irrelevant. Now that they picked up that four to one exchange on the top side, and they're going for the Dark Slayer. Is Alvaro gonna save his life? He's gotta he's pull got, back. He's gotta just yeah. pull back, yeah. Defensive advantage, what defensive advantage? The Germans could not leverage those towers to be able to take out the Spaniards, and it looks like with the near ace, the four hero kill, the Spaniards are going for the Dark Slayer, but they're getting pulverized. Looks like none of them will die, but it's getting awfully close there. Starting to recall back to get a little bit more hit points now. Yeah, 2.3k gold lead now, and with the Dark Slayer buff, if Spain can just force another team fight, get the advantage, get another 4-1, or maybe even a clean sweep, they'll be looking really, really good to take game number one. But we have Hob trying to get this Abyssal Dragon just when you're this far down at this point, and the Dark Slayer buff is on your, you know, enemy team you can't really you know force anything you know that abyssal dragon the moment he saw tell he was like i'm out i'm getting back all right so of course hob is out of blood he's going for a stab over here with the abyssal dragon but he's getting caught with zach and Chichendo in the center here and the head pushing of him away and him off. oh wukong going to take the death here Oh no, another wipeout! The Spaniards are going to do it again, an onslaught from Butterfly as two more Germans fall. Trimax trying to save the mids tower. That's going to fall. As stacks Alvaro and Serena trying to push down. Not yeah, the really three of them just kind of held off at the bridge. It's a smart move. You don't want to push directly into a mage. Trimax can deal a lot of damage. But looks like they're going to go for it nonetheless. Trimax unsupported, sends a lot of damage and nukes Serena, but can't quite finish her off. The Alvaro goes down, though. Nice execution by the tower there, and it will stay standing. Yeah, Zach trying to come in here. She's going to try uh -oh. to get the kill on Trimax. Trimax trying to survive with his life flickers, no. but still gets taken down. Ah, oh, no. And Wukong falls as well. Telanis trying to survive. Oh, Yo, finally a shutdown for Telanis. She gets sent back. And it looks like it's a 3v3 right now. Germany in a relatively okay uh, defensive position here. But Spain, overall in this game, has been doing just a little bit better. They're ahead by one tower, ahead by one dragon. Uh, or no, it's two dragons, excuse me. They're ahead by uh, the Dark Slayer and what is that, about a three or four thousand gold lead? Yeah, it's about a 3,200, 3,300 gold lead for the Spanish side. And they're just sitting in Germany's jungle hoping they want to take a fight. They want to take a fight. Bring it on. Bring it. Zach what you got, is going right? to clear out minions on the top side, and it looks like Spain is going to now work on the top side towers. Went in for a little bit of a cheeky push. You know, if you set up your control settings in a certain way, you can actually have it target specifically on those towers. Otherwise, the auto attack will go directly to the creeps or the, uh, the heroes that are nearby. Looks like they'll take out the tower anyways, and with the pushback from Crash sending that tidal wave, and it looks like the uh, team fight has been abandoned by the Germans on bottom. Is Kresk going to really try to force this fight? Wow. Ooh, no, he wisely backs up. This could be the fight that Germany needs to get right back into this game, though. Omar coming out. Oh, wow, as Trimax takes it down Jannar. And look at that, Germany, just like that. Spain Whoa. makes one mistake. Hand of blood still going in. Going to get taken out. Punish Chichetto. Yeah, pull him in there. Ooh, nice the hit from the end. The grackle. The, the grackle. The grapple from the grack. <laughs> I call it the grackle. The, the grapple. The grappling. Uh, <laughs> no, it's the grackle now because he's the grackle. Yeah, he's gra yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You, 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 I, I got the joke. You, you with me? I got the joke. Oh, man. <laughs> Center high ground tower has gone down from Germany, though. They only have two left to defend, and they haven't really been able to leverage any of these battles that they've won because 
not many of their teammates are surviving. You know, two or three still left standing at the end, but uh, the mm. positioning advantage for Spain is, is going pretty well. Look at, yeah, look at Hando the Blood, that 100% win rate, yeah. but 06 in this game. Ugh. Does have seven assists, though. Indeed. Tenindo looking to get level 14. There it goes. All you had to do was run around a little bit. Yeah, 5,000 gold lead for Spain. Can mm -hmm. they close out this game? That's the question. Another one or two team fights like that from Germany, and they'll be right back in this. They are a very, very strong team. They don't really lose. And let's see if they can somehow manage to take this win back from Spain. They do have a commanding lead at this current moment. Spain now si uh, circling to the bottom. Chinchetta just picked up Muramasa, a great item for the marksman in the bottom lane here. It looks like all five are going to be pushing in. And with the vision advantage that they got from killing that owl in the uh, river, it looks like they're going to be trying to push Another the tower here. All five on defense, though. Germany is ready to hold strong on this tower. Yeah, Grak, can he get the pull off? No, no pull. If Grak can land a pull here, Germany just needs to wait, land a Grak cook, clear it out, and then just go all in on the five... The oh, there the it crackle. is! Pulls it in, and that is a great gank, forcing the team fight. Somehow, Spaniards are willing to commit to this attack, but it looks like the, the defeats of Germans are going to be able to hold off. HOB goes down, though, and it's not looking too good at all. Picking them off one by one. It's a bloodbath as Butterfly is able to stab, stab, stab him down. With Zach trying to make it retreat, but not going to happen this time. Tell Addis gets the final kill. Tenendo and Trimax defend and are victorious, but it's a Pyrrhic victory. They lose their tower, and the core is being sieged now. Yeah, now double double super minions double on kill. the top, uh, on the bottom and the middle side coming in from Spain. That's going to be very problematic because you're always going to need to have somebody on defense. Once those waves start pushing into your base, the Dark Slayer could be taken by Spain and then maybe rotate and end the game. Let's see how Spain wants to play this. You know, maybe push in a wave into you know Germany's base with the super minions, then take the Dark Slayer, then end the game. Hopefully they play it like that because you don't want to keep on forcing team fights. Germany now only really 4k gold down. You know, they're slowly chipping at this gold lead that Spain has. And there are a couple of towers for them to take to get back into this. All heroes back alive once again. Gonna go return to the jungles and get a little bit more of that gold. They love so much. But it uh, looks like nearly all of the Germans have reached max level of five and lower loft just right behind. The Spaniards have all maxed out. They're at the Spirit Sentinel now, just kind of patiently waiting here. They'll take it down and might even continue on to the Dark Slayer if they think that they've got a good position here. But hiding in the shadows, the Deutschland team is nearby with an eye on the Dark Slayer. And oh, Blood Zach. runs out quick, and he's going to make a stab here over it with Zack. Oh, both oh, there's the crack hook, and he's going to ultimate. The ult comes in from crack. He can't really go into him at that moment in time. Trimax going to ult to the disengage, and Germany is running away. They do not want to take this fight at this current moment. Grak needs to get a pull on the tell on us and then blow her up. That is Germany's best chance to really be able to win this game. And look uh -oh. at this, Spain taking the Dark Slayer, and they're going to be able to get it uncontested. This is a huge give, and right now with Spain and the Dark Slayer buff, they could push in and end this game, especially how there's no towers in the mid or the bottom lanes. He's the Dark Slayer, but this time he has been slain. The center lane defense for Germany not looking too strong at all. The Spanish could also go into the bottom if they prefer. There's no tower there either. The team fight's about to start. And a blood, get back, man. Be careful. The Monkey King having a little bit of difficulty here. Takes one shot from Chinchetto out back, and it's going to be the team fight of the century in chat. And what's happening? Oh, no. Crush is going to pop his ultimate. Here it comes. Is Grak going to get He's going to fall first. Grak's going to take get taken out here. We have Trimax going to get taken out as well. Laura Loft going to get taken down, and there's four Spaniards still alive. Tenendo trying to defend, but Talanis is going to kill the Nexus, and it's going to be over. Unfortunate, Grak pulled the Crest in. Crest was sitting there, ultimated in front of their entire team. And when you pull in a tank as Grak, when the enemy team already has the Dark Slayer buff, already has the advantage, that is the one thing you do not want to do. Oof. The tank wants to be in the middle of the team fight, yeah. wants to take the damage, and that's exactly what Spain got. Beautifully, uh, beautiful by uh, Crash to protecting the Tell Honest there. Grak not able to land the hook on the right target. Crash comes in, he ults, not able to take him out. Trimax falls, your team, uh, not Trimax falls, uh, yeah, Trimax falls, and everything else happens.
with Zach, the MVP of that match. Victorious, the Spaniards are going to finally get one on the board and bully to them. Vamos España. <laughs> Happy that they were able to take that uh, Nexus down there at the end. We saw Talanis trying to get a few shots on the back and Yorin finally defending with all of his might, but out of options as a huge Spanish force comes crushing down on him. Nice kill at the end. Yeah, beautifully played there by Spain. They said they wanted to get the 2-0. Well, guess what? They got the first one. You're gonna have to win the second one, though. That's always the hardest, you know? You win the first one in a best of three, mm -hmm. you know, especially when you're like the David in the matchup, the Goliath's looking down and they're like, all right, now it's time to win Hold match on. number two. Hold on, I, I don't and know if that necessarily applies. We don't have such a David and Goliath in this in, in this series, do we? I, I, I think mean, Germany is, hasn't lost the entirety it's true, of the tournament. It's true, but we're looking at the influencers now. These guys, I think, are, are not necessarily on the pro circuit. They didn't go through the qualifier stage. That was a really close game, but I don't think that that was necessarily a huge upset. The Spaniards played really well throughout, and I think that the Germans had a good chance to be able to turn that thing around. But eventually, the Dark Slayer buff, being able to push the Germans back into their own base. <laughs> they once again were just forced to play defense the whole time, and that's not a good position to be in. In a team fight where you're at a disadvantage because of the Dark Slayer buff, all five of the opposing heroes are really well coordinated. You saw them hiding out in the bushes together. You know that they're all just like waiting there, sneaking along, right? Yeah, their practice that they've been saying all week long, just together, all playing together as a team. Definitely showed there, got the Dark Slayer buff, rotated all together, and were able to take that game. But let's have, uh, I think Renee wants yeah, to. Yeah, that's uh, the first of the best of three. Yeah. Let's send it back to the main desk. Thank you, Renee. Interesting. The influencers, uh, they were kind of telling, you know, what to ban versus the team. You know, the influencer team. Would you have yeah. done that? What do no, you think? No, man, I hold you? that close to my chest. I'm Ugh. not going to share secrets with anyone. Ugh. You never know if those sneaky Spaniards are out there listening or if the Germans have got their spy satellites locked onto the Arena of Valor location here. It's a good thing that they only know we're in Katowice. I don't think that they know exactly where we are in Chatton. Well, they know to ban Butterfly, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. With Zach was absolutely dominant with, with Butterfly yesterday. With Zach with Butterfly. Is that... That's, that's a good one. It's like with Zach with Butterfly. Yeah, see, you, you saw what just, I did there. He I was did. the MVP of the match, though. I mean, that guy's got to save for something. Definitely took care of it, Assassin. Just continue. But let's get right into game number two. Spain taking match one of this best of three. Batman is going to be banned from oh. Spain. And the Germans, are they going to ban Butterfly? Yep. <laughs> they are. Butterfly getting taken off the board. Lock it in. That means that the Joker will be available in this game. Wasn't there last time, but uh, the Batman... Once again, it's going to be uh, out of commission. The streets of Gotham are going to be running rampant with all sorts of nasty villains. We've got, from with Zack this time, crashed the big heavy tank. Yeah, huge pickup last game as well to show dominance. And looks like we have Grack and... Ooh, Chognar, the yeah, providing the that little bit of support the choo -choo train. on the back. The choo-choo train, Chognar. Chognar. On Chug the other side, we got Jinnar. And good. Yes, we do. Oh, no. Oh, oh. he spoke too soon Whoa. in chat. And hold on. Whoa. <laughs> Who's going to go for Zephyrs? He was amazing in the prior matches that we saw between the pro team. And yeah, it looks like Serena will go for uh, taking up the that. Stabby Man. We have Yorn and possibly Natalia getting locked in. He played her last time, he'll play yeah. her this time. Hey, Locks listen, when you're left on an island, you know, you got to do what you got to do. You got to pick, you got to You got to pick. That's a nice down. little character card that the, the, they flashed for her there, too. Yeah. And Alvaro, I mean, I would take her on a date. Yeah. Would you? Who? Who's your I, who's your I, hero? I, that I'm, you I'm very happy, you know. I, I, I've got a girlfriend already in chatting, but I, I know you. That's tinder, that's you know what, you know what that's that's not an fire. answer that anybody wants to hear. <laughs> <laughs> that boy taking Wukong as the last pick. The hand of blood. She's listening, isn't she? Is the monkey of blood? She's listening. Please, please. Right, I'm uh, sorry. I, I'm gonna blink sorry. three times. I'm sorry, that, blink three times. Yeah, I'll, that, that'll let you know that you shut down the mic. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. 14 <laughs> seconds remain. The teams have been. Set up here. Looks like we got Telonis, of course, coming in from the Chinchito player on the bottom. He's going to be shooting away <coughs> with uh, his favorite dark lady once again. She looks, she looks sort of like a like a night elf. Yeah, very t a very tanky She's team. The ageless one, right? Yes, yeah. that is true. Very, very tanky team mm. from the Spanish side. The Germans, though, as well. You got the Chugnar, you got the Grok, um, and the Wukong. So it's going to be a lot of frontline action. You know, a lot of protection of the Yorn, of the Natalia. Uh, and of the Telanus, 
uh, it's going to be very interesting to see which carry really goes off in this matchup to really shut down the tanks. You're going to need a lot of armor shred. But let's take a look at what the Spanish side has. We have Zephy's Jinnar, Crushed, Arthur, and Tel Anis. Yes, indeed. And then over on the German side, Grack. Chaugnar, the two big heavy bodies in front of Yorn, Marksman in the back, Natalia the Mage in the center with Trimax, and Wukong the Monkey King to round things out. Well, let's see if Spain can get that 2-0 victory, which is what they predicted before the game, or can Germany strike back and bring it to game number three? That is yet to be decided as minions get start coming out. We're getting right into game number two. Numero dos, we'll call it in the Spanish language since they are ahead right now. A little bit of uh, attacking in the center here. Trimax trying to get a stab in. No, he's just going to go for the minions. Eh, I think that's fine. Looks like Trimax going to take quicker level two, but both players kind of just feeling to get a feel out. You yeah. know, kind of having the same matchup as we had in game number one where Trimax was able to put a lot of pressure on him, but... The key moment that happened in that game was the middle lane over commitment. Once they got the kill, four rotated uh, on the Spanish side to take out Trimax and the jungler, and then push, you know, got the Abyssal Dragon, got the middle tower, and really punished them. That's probably not going to happen in this game. Let's see if they can learn from their mistakes in game number one. Trimax, once again, getting a lot of poke damage off on Jinnar. I like the, uh, the, the pick here as well from Alvaro, his, his hero, Arthur is actually going to be, uh, you know, Catacombs Arthur. He, he's got the limited edition skin oh, he does. here as we return to the jungles. I yeah. wouldn't expect anything less from Alvin. Oh, no, no, of course not. <laughs> Nothing but the best. Nothing but the best. Well, they're going with some, some, some skins this time. Mm, yeah. Stab him down with Zach, Making a good play there. You know he's affiliated with the Alvaro. They're both on Team K, so Alvaro the CEO and with Zach the business development manager of the team. Cheesy duo. Didn't need to use cheese strategies in this game to get the win. But he's hiding right now. Ooh, right next to Laura Loft. Goes in for his few stabs. Can he finish her off? Oh, with Zach, that ultimate coming out from being the only level four in that skirmish just was not enough as Laura Loft was able to get away. But first blood coming down as Janor falls in the mid lane. Nice stab. Wukong finishes him off. The Monkey King from the Hand of Blood takes blood first. Of course you'd expect there that. There you go. Of blood, right? yeah, you you, you got blood. it, right? He hands out yeah. the blood. <laughs> Trimax in the center once again. The mage, Natalia, with her little uh, poison she serpent doesn't look flying that, around. You know, I, w I wouldn't take that skin to a private island. He looks pretty cute, though. The, he? The, no, the, the, the little serpent guy that's flying around Natalia. Ah. You know what I'm talking about? The, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, the, the little... Crush? Guy up top. Uh-huh. Ooh, Crush getting crushed, though. Center. Pulling back. Got a lot of damage off against Laura Loft, but they weren't really willing to attack there with the uh, creeps going down the lane. Look at that with Zach trying to push it away. Hand of blood and Trimax going to try to push down Alvaro. Is Alvaro oh. going to get taken out? The heal comes out and Alvaro survives. Heavy damage coming in from Trimax, but not yet enough to be able to finish him off. And it's going to be a 2v3. The Germans are on the run as they pull back into the bushes, trying to defend here. It looks like Spain thought that they were going to get away and stop pressuring here. And that is going to be a kill for the Germans, turning that thing around. It's a 2-0 kill score right now. Well, here it is. Stacks, oh no, just gets a little bit too much over commitment and is going to fall. Oop, Tanda Blood gonna come oh in here with the goodness. Wukong with Zack on Zephyrs. Is he gonna be able to get away? No! Wukong clobbers him down. Wukong, the king. The monkey Hand of king. Blood gets the second kill for his side. And the Germans were looking strong in the early game. Might be able to turn this thing around and put it into a tiebreaker match. Yeah, that's true. Germany already getting about a 1.4k gold lead in this matchup. Four kills to nil of the Spanish side. Ooh, nil, very European of you, Chad. Yeah, that's what I do. Appreciate that. Look at, oh, Grok missing the ultimate whiffing, trying to Whoops. just catch Arthur. You know, taking one step up too close, would have got pulled in from the Grok ultimate. Tenendo taking a ton of damage here on the bottom side. Telanis and Crash applying a lot of pressure. 
looks like. Pushing there, but yeah, not really getting a whole lot off. It looks like uh, Laura Loss is still kind of babysitting for Tenendo in the back. Not a whole lot of hit points on him, and she'll need to make sure that he stays nice and healthy to be able to dish out the big damage that she expects from her ADC. Yeah, with Zack trying to come in here, they might tower dive here. With, uh, with Zack, might ultimate in. Might uh, do a one ultimate. He covers Hold a on. lot of ground. Again, and oh no. Though? They've already done that once. Fool me once. Well, Shame Tenendo on is about you. to Fool die. Shame on me. It's going to happen. Oh no, it's going to die. The ultimate. Oh. He misses the ultimate as Crash tries to come in. And unfortunate circumstances. Oh. Ultimate. He, he ultimated the minion, though. I know. <laughs> the what? minion felt the pain. <laughs> <laughs> Not the hero, though. <laughs> Maybe next time. Maybe next time, Spain. Oh, that was that was what they needed though. They needed that clear. They needed that tower on the bottom side to really get back in this gold, you know, deficit that they have. You know, they have a little bit of a hole coming out. 1.7k. It's a race. But they're not winning. Lots of gold stacking up in the German coffers. Hand of blood just hanging out here. He's gonna go invisible. Is he gonna come out? Oh. They're stacked. He's gonna go down. Trimax. Wow. Is he gonna ult? Oh wow. Oh wait. Are they? That's. They're just super I think they kind I think they kind of just like BM'd him a little bit right there being like you're dead. You're not going anywhere. He was as, frozen in stasis. Uh, there wasn't uh, anything as that Stax he could do. Stacks Yeah. Oh man. Unfortunate from Stax. Stax tried to do whatever he could. But he got stacked. Trimax on. didn't even ult when he was in that stasis either. He could have you know ulted the moment he came out would have just taken the beam but Yeah. He he knew he was dead. Yeah. It was finished off. The Alvaro is still hiding in the bushes. He's going to move out, though. Arthur moving in strong. Oh, Wizak Ultimates. misses another ultimate. Yeah. He's got to fix but... his you know, sweaty palms. You oh, know? man. You think that's it? It might be. He's got melted cheese all over him. Oh, well, Spain is going to try to take this Abyssal Dragon. Hand of Blood, is he going to go in for the steal? They got Tenendo and Laura Loft here as well. Who's going to get this Abyssal Dragon? Is Hand of Blood going to come in? That he is. Abyssal Dragon getting really low. Boom. Zephy is with Zach going to clear it out. Tenendo taking a ton of damage, but going to peel back. Here comes Crush coming in. Laura Loft going to get... No! Wow. Taken down. Hand of Blood still alive, though. Crushing this bottom lane. Two defenders left, but it looks like the Spaniards weren't really willing to commit. And this 2v2 is not shaping out too well for them. Tower stands up. It looks like a little bit more stabbing over there on the right side. Gives them a little bit more damage on the tower. That could have been a lot worse for Germany. 100% worse. But Hand of Blood lives with a little bit of health. Trimax picks up a kill on the back end and makes that into a 2v2. Uh, two for two. I don't know if you noticed no this or not. Deal. Germany actually just got the first tower. Grax sieging in the top lane, uncontested, just managed to break through and tore it down. Yeah, they didn't need him for that fight. And look at that, he's continuing to push. They're gonna lose this entire minion wave now to this tower as Grack continues the assault. Gonna take down this tower. Is he gonna continue to finish wow. it off? Siege minion does. Oh, wow, the Not double down siege minion. Grack. That is what Germany needed. Way far ahead in tower and gold and kills the Avalanche has started to form, and the Spaniards are in a tough position, down about 3,000 gold now, more than that even. Yeah, this Spanish assault on the bottom side, though, they do have the uh, advantage on the bottom. They just need to make sure that they punish. Oh no, Crash! Gonna try to save Talanis here. Talanis going to just throw her two into the wind. First tower for Spain, and you know, they got the dragon earlier. Nice little bit of gold and uh, experience catch up, but not anything compared to what the Germans got in the top lane. Alvaro having a little bit of trouble though. Onslaught as Natalia murders him. Death Beam staring right at the Jinnar, but Trimax blinks out and it looks like he'll be able to hold on. Yeah, hand of blood gonna fall as well to Jinnar. Ooh, Tenendo uh, surviving with a little bit of HP at the end. Chinchetto pulling back too. The Etos are uh, able to survive here, going back into the jungle for a little bit more golden XP. Chinchetto got a little bit distracted, though. I think he was shooting at two different uh, jungle units at the same time. Yeah, he was getting distracted by Trimax. <laughs> <laughs> he <laughs> was staring just, at him. He just kept staring. The doctorate in Kulalology <laughs> made him uh, a, a little bit more attracted to, to other well, creatures he was in the back, on the entire so. battlefield. He definitely. Oh! Uh oh! Oh, Zach's going in. Ultimates at ones away, though. Just sneaks out. It goes in and it goes out. Just in and as out. quick. But sheep in the night. In and out. At least it wasn't. Uh... Never mind. Make a burger joke. Not, going for not... in and out? I was going to go. No. Okay. 
Well, it would not be a good fight if uh, with Zach were to emerge from the bushes here. Three Germans here. He'd have to get a lot of splash damage in a very short amount of time. Wisely waits for a better inroad here. And a blood going for the Abyssal Dragon, though. An aggressive play, and it looks like Germany's going to be able to get away with it. The first dragon on their side, uncontested from the Spaniards. Yeah, no, but they are going to take the middle side lane. Ooh. Are they going to force a fight as well? Trimax is kind of caught out here. Is Witcher not going to go in? Oh. He's going to hold on to Trimax, but Trimax, the ult from Trimax does a ton of damage as this huge assault from Spain comes in, and Germany is falling. One after the other, Tenendo falls, and Trimax, a two-for-one trade there, as Zach, the only member to fall for Rum Spain. An avalanche of destruction falling down. Spain punishes hard the dragon claim by Germany, taking that middle tower, and it looks like the game is getting a lot closer now. Spain only behind by about 1,400 gold in total. They'll be pushing uh, mid and bottom as Germany tries to recuperate here the last Two heroes from that us exchange are coming back now. Natalia just respawned, and Yorn will be with us again soon. Yeah, Grack needs to start grouping up with his entire team. I mean, Spain is just so good at staying all together as a five-man unit. And as we're watching all these fights, there's just no hooks from a vibe because he's just not there. That Grack hook and ultimate combination could turn the tide, but he's continuing to push with a tanky support unit. I mean, you're not really going to be able to get down that inner tower. He really needs to be grouped up with his team, get the picks, and start a huge push. Hopefully it doesn't end like last game where he hooks, you know, the wrong target. You know, he's going to uh, need to not hook crushed again. Avoid hooking the tank if at all possible. Take the support or the ADC in the very back to be able to gut your opponent's team. And you know, I'm starting to think that Spain actually took some lessons from their non-pro team. The fact that they've been doing so well in these team battles indicates that they really know their stuff. All five players from Germany grouped up in this little bush here. It looks like the Spaniards, though, are going north. They're up to the top lane now. Yeah, that's a full life tower. Actually, look at this. I mean, if you just look at the middle and bottom side for Spain, I mean, they got all of their towers oh. alive. Hand of Blood goes for a gank against Chinchetto, but guess what? Is There's Brack a lot of ultimate? troops in the way. Grax gonna ultimate in, and that's gonna be a huge pull as Trimax ults as well in the back line. Here comes Crush, he's coming out. Is Trimax gonna fall? Yes, Whoa. he gets taken out by Zephys. Alvaro lives, but Hand of Blood's coming for blood. Alvaro gonna fall to the Wukong. The Monkey King clears out the, what is it, the Prince. Oh, uh, yes. It's the prince. He, he, he's, a, he's, the, he's the prince who pulled the sword from the stone, right? Yeah. Looks like that was a three kill for the German side, only lost one of their own. And they're going for the Dark Slayer now, and Chanton pressing this advantage and trying to turn this game into a win so that they can tie it up with Spain overall in the best of three match. Yeah, Spain is now going to be into total defensive turtle mode. They're only down by like 2k gold, but the problem is they have a lot of towers in the middle and bot side of the map. I expect uh, the Germans to quickly take the mid, rotate down to the bottom, and you can't really fight them with the Dark Slayer buff being so strong, especially 13 minutes into the game. Certainly not wanting to do that at all. They're just going to stay back in their own jungle, get a little bit of experience, a little bit of gold on their side, while the Germans kind of figure out what they want to do. They're fanning out, though. It looks like Grack going to the top lane, might be getting a little bit of a jungle of his own, while in the uh, mid to bottom here, Hand of Blood is going to be making his way back to the Abyssal Dragon. This will be a nice time to take it if the Spaniards try to go in there for the punish. The team fight would almost certainly go on the German side. Unless they can't stick together, it looks like the Italian Grack are nowhere to be found. This might be a 5v3 in the Spaniards' favor. Oh no, the, oh no, Germany is caught out. Tenendo gonna fall. Laura Loft is going to, oh, she's running, chugging away. Crush continuing to chase. Stack's not gonna be oh, enough. No. The Abyssal Dragon by Hop, look at this. Oh, thank goodness, at least he got the dragon. Wow. Not a good exchange at all for Germany. Pay paying attention to the Dragon, though, got them a little bit of gold and denied that experience uh, for the Spaniards, who are still trying to level up. They turned but, that all the way around with yeah. that Abyssal Dragon completely turned. the. We, looking at that, it looked bad. Five versus three. No way the Germans can get out of that. Only losing one and taking an Abyssal Dragon. I would say that's a pretty good trade, wouldn't you? Sure would. They're going to be pulling back now. The Spaniards not really uh, interested in engaging yet again. Hand of Blood claims a golem here as he farms up a little bit more uh, buffs and experience in the center. He's already level 15, though. 
Yeah, Wilcon coming one in. Only one in the battlefield at level 15, the Hand of Blood. Correct. It's just not want to throw out that hook, waiting for a juicy hook on either Telanus or Jinnar. If he can land that hook, Germany will easily be able to seal the rest of this game. But, you know, you don't want to hook in uh -oh. this crush who is just sitting here. Chintetto is isolated. Hand of Blood's going to go for the kill. Gets a few hits off. Almost gets him down, but Chintetto will be able to pull out. Nicely done there, Telanis, with just enough mobility to survive. Loreloft in a lot of trouble, though. She's going to be retreating. It's a big team fight in the center here as the Germans are being able to commit to this push. Chinchetto firing away as much as she can. A vibe is not looking healthy at all. The tank has to pull back, and that's not a good look for the German team at all. Loreloft goes down the onslaught from Wukong as he finishes off Telanis in the back. Hand of blood trying to get some more wins here for Germany, but not looking likely. And he's going to be able to pull off another victory, the recalling of Chugnar, not gonna work out. Laura Loft goes down. Oh no, Kinetto, what are you doing? Oh my goodness, gets caught out there. I guess he thought his controller was something. I guess he thought he had a controller in his hand because uh -oh. he definitely was going in the wrong direction right into Spain. And just like that, Spain is coming back, evens up the gold lead, and they're going to take this tower. They are going to take a gold lead as Crash tanking the tower. Grack with the Hold pull, on, though. Be careful, Serena. You're taking a lot of damage. Oh, no! the beautiful pull from Grack gets the kill on Crash. What? Executed by the tower, the tower but it, yeah, it goes down. Oh, my goodness. Greg going to try to, you know, reset here. Germany really needs to reset. I mean, they had this game, you know, pretty much in the bag and then threw it a little bit. A couple of shaky, you know, engagements. And Spain showing that they are the better team, I guess you could say, as far as the team fighting and the cohesion within their team. I think that it's showing that they've been practicing all week together as a unit, and they're really showing in these team fights. They have definitely turned it around against the Germans here. With Zach going to recall now, he's got plenty of hit points, but he just needs a little bit more mana to continue up the fight. Moving back. Oh, the Abyssal Dragon went down. Hand of Blood is murdering that poor thing. Plenty of hit points for the warrior as the Monkey King wipes out a dragon. Yeah, we have a Vive on this crack, looking to get a good pull, but if he continues to not really get, you know, one of those big time pulls, you know, Germany is going to be really in trouble. I mean, with Zach uh -oh. on these Zephys, just continues to scale. With the, oh, is it going to die? Yeah. Oh. Taken out by minions. Ooh. Finished off. I think the Spaniards were caught a little flat footed there. They didn't realize that they were being. Uh, push so heavy on that bottom lane. This is one of the closest games we've seen. I mean, 17 minutes in, dead even. So close. Kill advantage for Germany, but Spain definitely was able to turn it around in the mid to late game, and they haven't given up much at all. Serena about to reach uh, that level 15 mark. Laura Loft on the other side in the same position. Yeah, Trimax is just trying to get down one of those alts, but you know, every single time he tries, Zephy's either ult him or, you know, Kresh comes in knocking on the door and ugh, the pressure's really on. Germany right now a huge hook, but what a talent being used there. Zach coming in. Is Laura Love going to go down? Hand of blood trying to stay alive. He's going to get taken down. Speed is going to continue the assault. Trimax, is he going to be able to get out of here? The team is forcing the push. They have minions. This is going to be a middle side tower. Already four members down for... The Germans, they might lose the game right here. Spain is going to push this Nexus. Can Trimax defend the tower with Zach going in? It's not going to matter. That's going to be a Nexus. And just like that, Spain going to win the matchup 2-0 to all versus Germany. Did you see this coming, Woody? Did not see that turnaround, but you can never count out the Spaniards. The fact that they're so adept at these team fights definitely means that they earned that victory there, wiping out the competition. The snow sickle from Grack on the back, not enough to claim victory for the Germans this time. And this is a big hole in their armor now. The Spaniards have finally claimed another win and been able to turn this thing around. It's a 1-1 split now between the day score overall, the Germans and the Spaniards Dead even 1-1, one, one. but of course, in the final standings, the Germans way far ahead in Chatton. Yeah, they are, but Spain needed that victory, and it showed they must have been practicing all week. Those team fights from the Spanish influencers were on point. They definitely have been practicing, and it has been showing 
unbelievable gameplay from the Spanish side. Wielding their influence to great destructive power. Excellent job to the Spaniards there. Wonderful casting with you today in chat. And I'm Woody, and we're going to be able to send it back now to the desk. We'll have some more thoughts from Renee. What have you got for us? A second in silence in memory of the German streak. It just happened. It's over. 2-0 for Spain means Germany lost the first match, of course it wasn't on your team. Your team still without a lose, but it is your country that just lost 2-0. After what I would call the return of Hand of Blood on Wukong, we told him like, yeah, you should go Batman, all of that, but my dear, that was crazy. He took kills left and right, really tried everything to bring his team onto the winning streak again, but it wasn't enough. No, it wasn't enough, sadly, but he did a really great job. He put his team like in front, they had like uh, 1.5k gold more uh, after just five minutes, so the, he did a really good job. But I think the, they had like a lack of team play because Greg was just standing in top lane all the time. So there was also a moment like he was just standing there in a bush for three, four minutes. So and yeah, it's... Was I it think pushing with the wrong hero? Yes, definitely, because Greg isn't a pushing hero, Greg is more like a supporter. So he should have teamed up more, and I think it would uh, have ended a little bit uh, differently than now. But still, they did a great job, and they did what they could. Well, let's see, What's, what are your thoughts about the game? Mm, it was a really good game, uh, as we expected. Uh, Spanish did really, really well. Because they, uh, the German team was ahead and they played really good defensively, and they handled to come back and, and they as as the composition demands, they played uh, a really good team fight and they defended really well the Dark Slayer and I think that that's why we win. The first Dark Slayer went to Germany. We saw the Hand of Blood really tried everything to get the objectives. They got Abyssal Dragon and then they went over to Dark Slayer, but. Nothing really came out of that. Why? Uh, I think they had too much respect from the uh, Spanish team. Uh, I understand this, they're really strong. And there was like one team fight that uh, changed everything, where Telenas got split and uh, Hand of Blood tried to kill her. Uh, I think it was a good, tr a nice try, but then uh, they just kept on attacking instead of retreating. And I think it was like a big mistake in this game. Lil, you guys took a big step now forward to DreamHack because you, you won your online match, hmm. you won the influencer match here, that's six points this week. Seems like you're on the road now. Yes, it's like it's like that. We're on the road to DreamHack and we are really hyped about it. What do you do now? Like, that, that means more practice, right? If you, if you really go, how do you prepare for that? Mm, we have to train a lot because uh, we are having mistakes in, in our games. And I think we, we need to try hard a little and let's see if we can, we can handle this. Now that the streak is over, that's also me. We talked about that during the game. Better the streak at now and now for Germany than it does on the final at DreamHack in case you make it there. But just just assume you would. Uh, does, it, does it take off pressure of you guys now? No, not at all. So I mean Dream makes like a real big step from now here in Poland and we have like also to train a lot like every day and every night so it's gonna be hard time before Dream make even and Dream make like a way harder time. We see a hand of blood MVP for the German team and it's Alvaro on the side of Spain. Really that was one of those games where we see that it is about team play. It's not enough to have one professional on your team, one that carries the team, is a lot of weight to carry and sometimes you need help for that. Is there anything you, could, you would have done differently when it comes to picking a hero that could support the carrying of Hand of Blood? Ooh, it's a very difficult question because I think they had a lot of good picks for supporting Hand of Blood but they lacked a little bit of, you know, taking everything out of these picks. So, but I think the champions were not bad. Sometimes it's just about how you master your heroes to make sure that you actually get the win. But now we've got Parla with the interviews. Thank you so much, Renee. I'm here with one of the players from the winning team, Spain, Salvaro, and then on my right, commiserations to Trimax and his squad. Firstly, from you, Trimax, what went wrong? Um, we trained a lot um, with Crashed but uh, the Spanish team denied it twice and they had a pretty 
tanky team, which is bad for such a assassin like Wukong. And yeah, that, that was key for them. Yeah, Alvaro, from your perspective, from your perspective, what was key? Um, it looked like team composition um, worked very much in your favor, and those team fights, even sometimes when you didn't go in necessarily optimally, you came out on top. Yeah, for, for us, the controlling the jungle was the key. So in the in the first match, uh, with uh, with uh, Butterfly, he did really good, and uh, on the second, we had more issues in the jungle, and we didn't have vision, so we had like travel at the very beginning. But uh, then in the late game, I think we managed to come back. Trimax, did you manage to get any tips out of your NPT uh, cohorts, your friends? Because those guys are the best team here in the tournament. Did you practice with them at all? Did you get any tips from uh, the NPT guys on your team? Uh, just a few tips like uh, the Arcana and so on and which uh, items to build, but no more tips, I think. Okay, and so on your side of things, Alvaro, how was the practice schedule? Did you guys get much time together or was it kind of like a rush to get here and be ready? Yeah, we tried to train uh, a lot, I mean, as much as we, as we could. Uh, it's very difficult to, to have five influencers at the time practicing, but we, we did a few times. And uh, of course, we tried to, to train every week uh, at least two or three, so yeah. Okay, Trimax, any final words from you? How has the experience been so far? And what's it like going from being like a content creator to competing here uh, in a fully fledged esports arena? Uh, it makes a lot of fun with this live event here, Arena of Vela. Um, what nice to meet uh, the other influencers. Never met them before. Yeah, for such a nice time. And Alvaro, what about you? Any final words? Yeah, I, I mean, I had a lot of fun, and for us, I mean, we, we just uh, try to help our national team winning, winning this match, so I'm really happy. Yeah, that actually puts, I think, the standards in quite an interesting position, but we'll get onto that a bit later. For now, let's head back to Rene.